Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we will learn how to find the sum of the digits of a number. So, let's start by creating a new class and uh, let's uh, name the class as SOT, okay, sum of digits short and say okay. Uh, right click on this, open editor. So, maximize the screen. Here, let's do away with these month line comments and let's remove this code also. We don't need it. Delete it. Okay, now we are left with this method. Change the return type of the method to void and instead of sample method, let's call it cal and we are going to pass a parameter to the method as a way of providing input to the program. So here n is the number whose sum of the digits I want to find. Now what do we mean by sum of the digits of a number? Let's say if the user enters 2, 5, 6, in that case the output should be 2 plus 5 plus 6. That means 2 plus 5 is 7 and 7 plus 6 is, is equal to 13. We should get the output 13. In case it's a 4 digit number, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. Then the output should be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. That means 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4. That is 10. So this is what we have to do. We have to write a program which finds the sum of the digits of a number. And the number can be 1 digit, 2 digit, 3 digit, 4 digit, 5 digit, any number of digits. Okay. So our program will work for all the types of numbers. Now let's, in this case, n is the number whose sum of digits we have to find. Now if we have to find the sum of the digits, that means we have to extract the digits out of the number. That means separate the digits of the number. So how do we do that? We separate the digits of a number by dividing the number by 10. So if you see, let's suppose the number entered by user was 256. So if you divide 256 by 10, we have to find two things here. One is remainder. So in this case, when you divide 256 by 10, the remainder would be 6. Okay. And when you divide 256 by 10, what is the quotient? Quotient would become 25. Isn't it? When you divide 256 by 10, the quotient is 25 and the remainder is 10. Okay, now next time this quotient becomes the number. So we are going to divide 25 by 10. Now when you divide 25 by 10, what is the remainder? The remainder is 5. And what is the quotient? Now the quotient would be 2. 25 tens are. So divide 25 by 10. 10 twos are 20. 2 is the quotient and 5 is the remainder. Now next time this quotient, that is 2, becomes a number. So 2 divide by 10. Now 2 we cannot in Java we cannot divide 2 by 10. 2 is smaller than 10. So in this case when you when the number which we are dividing that means the dividend is smaller than the divisor. In that case the dividend becomes the remainder and quotient becomes 0. So we will stop when the quotient is 0. So this is the logic which we are going to apply. So let's use while loop for this and uh, let's take a variable called int r and uh, let's take s is equal to 0. In s we are going to store the sum of the digits of the number. Now we are writing while n, n is the number whose factorial is to be found while n is greater than 0, r is equal to n mod, r is equal to n mod 10 s is equal to s plus r and n is equal to n divided by 10. Close the curly braces of the while loop and outside the while loop you will print s. s is the sum of the digits of the number. So let's understand this. Uh, see n is the number. Let's suppose user enters 256. Okay. Now when you divide 256 by 10, so in Java this mod percentage sign is called the modulus operator. It gives us the remainder of the division. So when you divide 256 by 10, the remainder is, as I told you, 6. So the value of r is 6. So what does s become? s was initially 0, so s becomes 0 plus 6. Okay, so that means the new value of x is now, s is now 6. And n becomes n is equal to n divided by 10. So when you n is equal to n divided by 10, that, that means when you use this symbol, division symbol, it will store the quotient of this division. So that means 256 divided by 10, the quotient would be 25. Okay. So now the new value of n becomes 25. 
again it goes here 25 is greater than 0 now r would be 25 mod 10 that means remainder so it divides 25 by 10 and stores the remainder which is 5 so r becomes 5 S is equal to S plus R. That means S was initially 6. Now it becomes 6 plus 5 which is 11. And N becomes 25 divided by 10. So when you use this symbol it stores the quotient. So now the new number N becomes 2. Again 2 is greater than 0. So R is equal to 2 mod 10. 2 mod 10 will give me the remainder. That means 2 divided by 10. What is the remainder? The remainder is 2 only. This. Okay. And S was initially 11. Now, 11 plus 2 will give me 13. And the quotient number becomes 0. N divided by 10. 2 divided by 10, quotient is 0. So, now the condition becomes false. It comes out of the loop and it will print the value of S. Okay. So, this is how we run this program. So, let's try this. And for trying, before you try, remove this code. Otherwise, it will not compile. And let me save this. And we will compile the program. So when you compile the program, you should get this message, no syntax errors. If you are getting any error, you have to remove the errors, okay? Otherwise, the program will not compile. After this, let's minimize this. And now, this is the program. Right click, new, SOG, and OK. Now, right click on this, run this method, enter the number, 256, and click on OK. So you see this, we are getting the sum of the digits 256, 2 plus 5 plus 6 is 13. So this is how we can write sum of the digits of a number. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button. Thank you for watching the video.